Hello, all my beautiful Sagittarius friends. Welcome to your February 16th through 28th, 2022 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective reading, so it's for all Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. There you'll find the availability to, to check out which services I offer, what appointment you want, and you can check out the Royal Mystic Collective Wisdom podcast. There's a link directly from royalmystic.com. And you can always uh, check out and peruse Royal Mystic Curiosity Shop. Plenty going on there. Uh, lots of cool things to uh, gather. I have a lot of them here on my table. And I hope you'll enjoy yourself. Either way, visit the site and see what I've got. You'll, you'll, you'll be pleasantly surprised, I believe. So with all of that being said, let's go into the energy of the reading. We have the Queen of Cups and the Emperor. The Queen of Cups is the energy of being very much in the looking forward to the future, cautiously optimistic, but looking forward, being in the energy of laying plans, looking at uh, possible you know, paths forward and knowing that these, these clouds are clearing. And so this is where you're making your, your preemptive you know, plans of, of what you may start with and in a place of, of maybe subdued hopefulness, but hopefulness anyway. Then we have the energy of the emperor, which is something fully manifested and available. So this is the energy of the divine masculine of the universe. It's also the Aries major arcana. The emperor's energy, as you can see, is fully filled in. His wheel is fully solid gold. It's beautiful, his zodiac wheel. And he's in that energy of let's do this. So this is a very good combination. The, the feminine energy of looking forward with expectation and a little, little, you know, optimism, but being con in control. And the energy of the emperor, which is come on in, the water's fine. So <laughs> we'll take that. Let's see what else it has to say. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit, six of pentacles. Spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, you had the Six of Pentacles as the second cut card. That's the energy of a, a, a windfall, something profitable coming through, either something turning out better than you'd hoped or literally money that doesn't have to be paid back. And we all love money that doesn't have to be paid back. <laughs> Here comes the Scorpio Major Arcana for your first card. This is the death card. I call this guy the Cosmic Garbage Man. He's coming in to clear all the toxic energy of the past so that you can have a brand new fresh, fresh start. And that's what he does. He clears it all out so you can have a clean slate. So this is a new beginning after you get rid of all the toxic stuff. So he's doing all of that simultaneously. Wonderful energy. Helping you to get past whatever's been holding you back. Ooh, nice. This is a resurrection energy. This is Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn of resurrection, rebirth, renewal, restoration. So something that you thought was off the table is being restored. So it comes, it may even just be your confidence or your feeling of, okay, I'm finally back on top of all of this, right? It's telling you, don't try to be logical about this. Stay in faith, stay connected to source. When we try to make a clear understanding of something, especially if it's miraculous uh, or something that, that's just not of this dimension, you don't have to be knowing how it happened. Just know that it showed up and it's here. And that's all you have to, to be aware of. It Now it's here. Don't worry about how it got here or will it stay here. Seize the moment. When it gets here, lock into the energy. Claim it. Miracles are never logical. You can't, you'll, you'll waste your whole life trying to make sense of a miracle. 
So here's the page of wands. So whatever's coming through, you're being notified about it with this page. He's the like town crier. He gives you the information. So he's coming in to tell you, hey, here's what you need to do. So he's usually telling you where to be, when to be there, what to bring. Now you got another page. He's giving you information as to what's going on and why this is that. And, you know, just giving, he, I call him the informer as well, because sometimes he gives you information that you didn't need, that you didn't know you needed, right? He might give you the inside story about something that lets you not, not uh, step on somebody's toes or make a comment that might be, not go over well, right? So he's going to kind of give you that information. And you're going, man... I don't know what to do. I'm so tired. This has been such a long journey. I've been, I've just had to overcome all this stuff. And I just don't know if I can just keep swinging this sword. My arm feels like it's going to fall off. This is the battle fatigue of what we've been going through. It is so true. Um, even if you haven't had major events, the major event for all of us has been the last few years. And we are all sick and tired right? But this is not time to, to lay down your, your stuff and walk away. We can't, this is, quitting is not an option. We'll just say it that way. It's the easiest way. So be still and let the universe move because it's bringing you what you need. It's happening. So you don't want to walk away five minutes before your miracle after you've endured all of this. So stand your ground. The ground you've gained is good enough. You don't have to keep pushing. Just be still and heal. Set yourself up for your self-care, get yourself in, the, in a good mindset. And this is the page of cups. So you've got three pages out here. You're definitely getting talked to or giving getting direct communication from whoever this is or, you know, divine source. This is being able to hold something under your hat. So he's literally holding it to his chest. So it's like if he were playing cards, you would hold it towards your vest. You won't want to show your cards. So he's holding a precious information to himself. This is usually you who knows something's going on here. And you're not telling everybody about it until it fully manifests, which is smart. There's the platform of new foundational money. This is a gift from divine. Remember, all aces are gifts. So having this ace of pentacles is solid money energy standing on that platform and new rest restoration or new um, beginnings because it's it's like a springtime energy whenever the cards have this gr lot of greenery. It's new growth. Absolutely new growth. This three of pentacles is the energy of receiving double for your trouble. So whatever effort you have put in, either now or in the past, you are now about to be rewarded for that hard work. Even if you thought nobody was paying attention. The universe is always paying attention and that is absolutely being brought up to the to the position you should be in. The higher rising energy of the world card is a new vortex or a new doorway opening. You look she looks like the top of a trophy if you look at, at the card. It's a very strong victory energy. And your underlier is that six of pentacles. This is that energy that came in the cut cards. This is that a windfall or or more money than you anticipated being given. Now there's another page, a little page of swords. The informer strikes again, giving you more information as you go along. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest ooh, possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very, very appreciated. So, Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is the energy of a breakthrough, which is right on top of the, the death cards, death the old way. Scorpio clearing the slate. Well, it has to be cleared because this Wheel of Fortune is going to blow the doors off. The Wheel of Fortune is the big moving, grooving energy. This really does kick everything into high gear. It releases you from the rut you've been stuck in for sure. So as this, this wheel starts to turn, all karmic holds are are broken and released. All red lights turn green. 
all doors open and including new doors that you didn't even realize were available. They were, it's like they were revealed after this happens. Then you have the, the beautiful, all obstacles fall to dust at your feet. So this is like literally being catapulted past all the time delay. Remember, the universe is in charge of time and space. It can speed up or slow down depending on whatever's happening with that. So you can, the time can be made up for if you feel like you've lost time. Just know that. That's the card that'll do it. Well, hello, Six of Pentacles. It's just very much wanting to insert itself in your reading. So if you didn't get that, this is the third time this card has shown up. It's here and it showed up in the cut cards. So there's the extra coming in from that whatever's being restored or brought back around is bringing friends. We, we like that. Hello. And did you need to know that was really there too? Here he keeps appearing. Archangel Gabriel again. Restoration fully restored. Let the miracle of that happen. Don't question it. Don't, don't try to, to tear it apart with disbelief. Suspend your disbelief and let the miracle happen. Three of Cups is the energy of the Seraphim. These are an angelic energies that help us here in the earth realm. And this is a celebratory energy and they are giving extra blessings. So we love that energy. You have the Nine of Rods, which is telling you, even though it seems like it's not happening, you're at the moment of the breakthrough. The Nine of Rods is as close as you can be to the Ten. So you're right there. Just, just keep... Keep the pressure on. Keep yourself in that viable position. Now, this Queen of Cups is a little different than the one we had at the beginning. She's looking backwards, and that's where we get. When we get in this Five of Swords energy, we start to look at some of the things that are not so rock and roll in our past, right? We want to let go of that. Don't start lamenting over things. When we get in a low vibration, sometimes we can get into our low vibrational habits or thoughts from the past. Do not dig in that area. It's toxic waste. You're doing all this cleanup here. You don't want to reopen that. Get into your crown chakra. That's what the hanged man is all about. You see his, his head is illuminated with that gold halo. So stay in a place of being open and allowing yourself to let the universe assist you to clear the way and have the best possible outcome. Hello, world. Man, if y'all are getting these confirmations, you getting doubles of everything. There's the world card on the top and the bottom here. This is the beautiful energy of that opening. She is dancing through the vortex, and it is, it is intentionally being given because that's the Ace of Pentacles, and that world card is the the conspiracy of the universe to open a new, beautiful, higher level for you. And there's the money coming in again, the page with these, all these pinnacles. So beautiful there. And this is beautiful. This is synchronicity. This is being in a place of like-mindedness and good partnership. So solid energy can also mean uh, soul ascension energy and being in your life's calling. So very beautiful here with Archangel Michael, King of Swords, right here front and center, helping you get through it all. Wonderful. You got Archangel Gabriel twice. You've got um, the, the energies of the higher frequencies helping you clear. That Wheel of Fortune is just everything. The World Card twice. I mean, this is a beautiful confirmation reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I send you many blessings, love, light, and abundance to you, my Saggies. I love you guys, and I'll see you again in March. Namaste and happy Valentine's Day.